Medic Mind. Motivate, mentor, maximize. Welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at how universities use the BMAT. Let's start off with Cambridge. So at Cambridge, it's thought that Cambridge interviews approximately 90% of their applicants. So you could argue that the BMAT score is not that important in deciding whether or not you get an interview. It will, however, be important when they decide whether or not to accept you when they look at other factors, such as GCSE results. Looking at Oxford now. So for Oxford, you'll be ranked numerically according to your GCSE grades and BMAT results. Each section will have a different weighting, and this can vary year by year, so do find this out. In 2016, section 1 was weighted 40%, section 2 40%, and section 3 20%. They also gave double weight to quality of content over quality of English. So as you can see, Oxford really does look at each section depending on the year. So with UCL, obviously the better uni, uh, it's used holistically in combination with other factors including A-level predictions, GCSE and personal statement. Now what this means is they'll look at lots of different things. They won't just you know, focus on UKCAT or BMAT like other universities do. They look at every single aspect. For example, a lot of my friends who didn't do amazingly on the BMAT still managed to get an offer because they had really great A-level predictions. Um, the personal statement was really good. They did lots of extracurricular, for example. So they really do look at every single aspect of your application, okay? And to get an offer, they will definitely look at your BMAT scores, but they don't have specific cutoff scores like other universities do. And also remember that this university actually looks at section three of the BMAT in the actual interview. So make sure you prepare well for it. And after your essay, write down all the po points that you made in your essay. So now Imperial do unfortunately have a cutoff score. And well, this varies depending on the cohort. So this means you have to get past that score in each section or you won't be given an interview. So in 2016, it was 4.5 in section one. 4.5 in section 2, and 2.5b in section 3, okay? So try and bear that in mind if you're applying for Imperial. Ensure that, you know, you can do well in all three sections. With Leeds, they don't have a specific cutoff score, but they'll calculate a BMAT score from section 1, 2, and 3, and they'll give section 3 half weighting, because, again, they'll also use it in their interview. Brighton and Sussex, now they score the BMAT out of 28. They give nine marks for section one, nine marks for section two, and five marks for each element of section three, therefore 10 marks in total. And they rank all the applicants according to the score out of 28 and work down their rankings to fill their interview places. So they look at every single aspect. In terms of Lancaster, they calculate the total BMAT score by combining the scores of each section. They don't use the quality of English score at all. So if you do badly in this section, don't worry, you can still apply to Lancaster, okay? Thank you for watching this free BMAT tutorial from Medic Mind. To unlock the rest of the 100 tutorials and all 8 ebooks, click here now.